hey guys welcome back to the channel it's joy here and i'm back at it with another video and this time guys it is my exam vlog my board exams of medical school and i'm so excited to tell you guys about this one if you checked out my last video i was telling you guys about how my last month of medical school went the experiences the up and down emotions and there was a slightly well not slightly there was a very sad ending but this time it's all smiles and I can finally say that your girl here is finally a doctor. I did my exams, I graduated, and if you want to see the graduation vlog, stay tuned. That's coming up in a few days. So here we go and let's go on with the video. <laughs> so before I start, I'd like to give a special shout out to my people, especially my friends who helped me film this video. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. And thank you so much for helping me make memories, guys. Love you. So first things first, the day. The day had finally come, the 15th of July, 2025. I had been studying for two weeks since I finished my last day of medical school. And I did not expect to be so nervous. I expected to wake up in the morning and vlog for you guys and say, hey, guys, it's my day. But I was so nervous. My nervous is wrecked. She must be freaking out right now. I woke up at like 5 a.m. I was studying nonstop. I was pacing the house, just studying and repeating things over and over and over. And then I got to the school or to the hospital super early where I would be having my exam. And I was just freaking out. Internally screaming. So when I, when I got there, I was freaking out so much. I feel like I couldn't calm myself. I called my friend Alexandra, who was close by. She lives on campus and the hospital is like right across the street. So I was like, Alex, I cannot do this alone. I need you here. I need you. I need you. And I called her and Alex was a lifesaver. Yeah, so you could see all our almost doctors here. Aaron pacing in the background. <laughs> Joy trying to do some teaching and last minute studying. <laughs> and we have Alex. <laughs> Helping them. <laughs> They're nervous, but without a doubt, all of these are our future doctors of the day. So I got to the hospital. The doctor who's the one examining us, the one who's in charge of our panel, she told us, you know, go up to the ward and, you know, see our patients and just greet the patients and everything. I'll explain what the exam entails in a while. And I was just sitting down and I was just studying and Alex was just helping me and I was studying and I just kept repeating things over and over and Alex was like, Joy, you're going to be okay. But I just kept going and going and going. Hi Joy Joy, what does your patient have? <laughs> infection is back urinary. How do you feel that in English? Urinary tract infection. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Hi, what's up? How are you today? I'm fine. I think so. I'm, I'm okay, actually. What's up? Not nervous? Actually, I'm freaking out. I'm not going to lie to you. You don't look like you're freaking out. What does your patient have? Well, look at me. I'm sweating. Imagine in the morning when I'm sweating, I'm feeling like the pressure is too high, actually. But what does yeah, your patient have, uh, My patient actually, he has a syndrome of febrile in the first CPU, syndrome of syndrome febrile agudo. But also, he has a syndrome of tubulo interstitial infectious. Oh, we have a doctor in the room. <laughs> You do great, all the best, doctor. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, Paul. Hello, Zizi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. Yeah. How are you today? I'm just feeling nervous, though. Nervous? Why? Because I feel like I don't know anything. Like, I have not been studying. My brain is empty. Yeah, so the niño debe reaccionar. Claro, no es algo que es tóxico. Pero debe reaccionar. El niño debe reaccionar. Ajá. Olfa, um, óptico. Eso es si el niño se... Ajá, no. Si puede fijarse a objetos o a la luz o cosas así. Eso es... Exacto. So, the first part of the examen estatal is the physical exam. In this part of the exam, the panel, the doctors, they take you to your patient and you must examine your patient in front of them and they basically evaluate your examination skills, how you examine the patient, what you do. And in medicine, it's very specific. There are specific maneuvers that you are supposed to do and there's a specific way to examine your patient. So when you see your doctor examining you, they're not just touching you up and doing random stuff. There's literally a specific order that you must follow. So they, they literally evaluate you on that. And there's so many details to remember, okay, guys. So we have Joy being examined, interacting with the doctor and the patient's mother. 
Think of her, she's doing such a great job. Then it came for the theory part. That's what it's called in Spanish. I don't really know how to translate it. But we have to present our case, present the diagnosis, um, respond to a bunch of questions. And that part was also no Hi, good afternoon, guys. So we are here Hi. waiting for Joy to finish her estata. She is a little bit nervous. Um, she just went in. So I will show you guys the process. The process. So Joy is currently in. She's currently examining right now. Seems confident. Exactly. That is it, my girl. Here we go. On Esetal, it is tradition that we bring flowers to the person that has been examinated. We got her flowers, balloons, and a poster. Did you see? Wow. Very creative. Even though we lack materials, we try to be as creative as possible in order to make things happen. We're here with Alex. Okay. Hello. Hello. So today is Joy's Estatal Day. And we're, Estatal basically is our board exam. The final exam for medicine is the exam that makes us doctors, right? So we get our patients and we examine our patients on the day and we write up the chart and we have to defend that case, what the patient has, how we're going to do the diagnosis, how we reach that diagnosis, how we're treating that patient. And Joy is doing an amazing job right now. She's inside of the examination room and we know that she's doing amazing, right? She's going to be a great doctor. I've been working with her all the internship or most of the internship. She's very hard working, very kind. She's always advocating for her patients. She's like, you know what this patient's here? This, this, like, it's very admirable. And I'm very happy to see how she's going. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. One hour later. You done done? So guys, this is Joy. She just finished her exam. She is right now waiting for her grade. Okay, so Joy is going inside for her grade right now. Finally, we have our doctor here. Dr. Michelle, how do you feel? How was your experience last night? Tell us about your how you felt. Nerve? Night, was it nerve wracking for you? The weight? Very nerve wracking. How was it for you? Not nerve wracking. Yeah, for me, I didn't sleep that night at I all. Didn't, I didn't sleep last night either. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel that you're finally a doctor? That is every everything that you have done for the past seven I years. Feel like one of them was clean Say that again. I feel like one of you should talk clean <laughs> <laughs> That one you have to figure out by yourself. So now I'm a doctor. I don't know what the emotions, I don't know what emotions to feel. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel different. I definitely have imposter syndrome. I definitely believe that I should know more what, than what I currently know. And I'm just thankful for this, that this journey is ahead. I know that there's a lot more because medicine is a career where you constantly have to be learning and studying. So this is definitely not the last exam I'll be doing in this career. It's one of the first. And there's a lot more years of stress and crying and studying to come, but I'm happy that I'm over this hurdle. And for the past few weeks, I've been enjoying time with my friends. We went to the beach, we had graduation, we've been out to eat. So if you want to see a lot more of that, stay tuned for the next video, which is the graduation video, which is, it's less, I was less nervous, so I had more time to vlog and to give you guys a proper count of what that day was like. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for being there on my journey and keep shining.